Hi there folks, welcome back to Rich Reviews. I want to thank everyone who's been subscribed to this channel. I want to thank everyone who's been watching the real latest reviews. I really am appreciative of that folks. Let's go places. So as I said last week, weekend, I was at the Virginia Film Festival and the reviews, next reviews are going to be just the, the holdovers I had from Sunday because I didn't really feel like putting out reviews on Monday basically. I feel like that's a little bit awkward. It was Bleed for this. So, Bleed for This is, is written and directed by Ben Younger. I think in 2005 he directed Pr Primer, I think, or Prime, I think that name film was, with Meryl Streep and Uma Thurman. And then 16 years ago he directed Boiler Room with Vin Diesel. So this is the true story of Vinnie Paz, played by Miles Teller. And he's a Rhode Island native who, I guess, is Italian, I think. Um, and basically it establishes him as along with his family. And the, his father, Angela, played by Siren Hans, and his, you know, exacerbated manager, Lou, played by Ted Levine. But Lou here believes that Vinny is not going to go anywhere anymore. He should really pack it up. Vinny then goes after Kevin Rooney, who started Mike Tyson's career, and now played by Aaron Arkin in an almost unrecognizable role here, because he's bald and fat and a little bit of an alcoholic. Um, and Vinny then realizes that he needs to go up two levels, which is almost unheard of, I guess, or at least it happens. Weight classes. If anything goes on to feed Gilbert Delay, I think, to win the title here. However, this being an actual true story, uh, you know, Vinny gets into a car accident, basically, here, and, um, he breaks his neck, and he's, he's told by doctors, you know, if I don't fuse your neck, you're never going to fight again. But he, him being the, but Vinny being who Vinny is, basically, you know, realizes, hey, I need to fight again, so you're not fusing my neck. Halo, on, they had this halo on him, and they screw things into his forehead, basically here. And you know, and Vinny really, really has. So after he gets out of the hospital, he begins to realize, hey, I don't want to be treated like I'm dead here, and basically, so he begins one of the most remarkable comeback in sports. The thing on how you view boxing films, and you know, again, we all like Rocky and to varying degrees of qualities of the sequels and Creed films. I truly believe this is the best boxing film in the last 20 some odd years. I truly believe that. I think, you know, again, I really wasn't a big fan of The Fighter. I'm sorry, I just didn't think that was interesting. I think Vinny Paz's story is much more interesting than Vicky Ward's. I think Vinny Paz Rini's family, I think that's his full name. Is much more interesting than Mickey Ward's family was. I again, you know, he had, had, has a broken neck. Mickey Ward was sort of, I guess, washed up or something, or was trying to prove himself to his really oddball family. You know, I don't know. Again, my opinion, of, my opinion of Miles Teller will probably never really change. But again, I uh, the first this is the first time I really have felt they have as an actual character. A person I feel like I can identify with, you know, again, who doesn't want to come back from a broken neck? And he brings the intensity of that. I think he brings some of the, some of the leftover intensity they had in, you know, a whiplash here, basically. Also one very fascinating line at the end about when he's being asked what's about the biggest lie in boxing is, and basically he gives a very fascinating answer. You have to watch the film to under, fully understand it, basically. Um, this also partially shows us that in some sports, such as, like, basketball, baseball, soccer to a certain extent, maybe even football. It's easy to some for some athletes to transcend the sport. Here, in boxing, it's very hard. I mean, it's like after Tyson, you mean, yeah, you get, you know, your Floyd Mayweather's and your Manny Pacquiao's, but again, there isn't really anyone that transcends the sport. It's like, okay, again, I'm not, can you ask the average Joe on the street who the, I guess, one of the champions of MMA is, or UFC, basically, or ask the average person, okay, after Holly Holm defeated Ronda Rousey, who is Holly Holm defeated by? Can you honestly answer me that without having to look it up? Boxing is a very hard sport to transcend. You have to be really, you know, entertaining, I guess. Um, it shows you the daily gr grind it, has to, it takes to be a boxer in this, because it's like train, 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 eat, 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 train, train, fight, maybe a couple of times a year, and, you know, the brutality of it, so, you know. I'm giving this a ranking of Leave Work Early. I truly suggest you seek this film out. I hope you all get a chance to see this film. Trust me, you won't be, you won't really, you really won't regret this, folks. 
So what's your favorite boxing film outside of the Rocky purview? Just put that in the conversation section below, folks. Because I like to start a conversation with you. you. That'd be wonderful here. Um, as always, folks, like, comment, subscribe, and rate yourself with knowledge. I'll see you next time, folks. Yay.